Wasabi, you guys. We are back to the AI integration B. And we are at semifinals. So we are doing some semifinals integrals. Now, from previous, we had Google and DeepSeek literally tied. And we're going to see, kind of see the limit of how much, uh, how difficult they can handle these integrals. So let's go ahead and get started with these semi-finals level integrals. All right, starting with a difficult integral. Let's see, we have, this seems to have the correct answer. Wow, it is still computing. And it does seem to have the right answer as well. Wow. It is a very sneaky integral. All right, we have another difficult integral. This one's also a very sneaky integral. And I see it's, wow. Oh, okay, there you go. See, not too bad. Um, that is not what I have. Oh, it might. Oh, okay. Inverse tangent to it too. Okay. So it did something else, but I think it's, uh, huh. So it also has two root two. My answer was two inverse tangent of one over root two. But we can, we can check if that's, uh, if there's an equivalency, because they both got the same answer. Oh, wait a minute, no. This one's 2 times inverse tangent to root 2. This one's just inver uh, inverse tangent to root 2. Oh no. Alright, let's 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 go check. Ah, uh, okay. So, this is the correct answer. Uh, Google is not. They, they accidentally had a 2. Yeah. Alright, this one's also a difficult integral. If you don't know what you're doing. It's a very sneaky integral, and we have an answer. Um, ooh, this one's kind of tough too. I'll check on that. And also got the same thing as well. Ln square of 2, ln 2 plus 1 fourth. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and double check because I have a different formatted answer. Now we should have something like this. There you go. Yep. Okay, so it is indeed correct. So that is a point for both of them. We have a very difficult integral here. Uh, it's very nasty, actually. This is one of the nastiest integrals given. And it did the... I mean, this is the correct way to do it, yes. It did the correct way, but it doesn't... These do not simplify the integral significantly. All oh, they should. They should be able to. Because you get a trig, uh, a trig identity and then it gets square rooted and then it repeats recursively but unfortunately it doesn't notice that dang so it approximates what about deep seek ooh deep seek is really uh, bashing it I hope it doesn't do a u sub I hope it doesn't do like a force u sub or something oh no it is oh no oh no oh there you go using cosines now Ooh, wait, 16 over 63, okay, that's promising. Oh. Oh, I was about to say 32, wait, what? That's the final expression, geez, okay. So, we're going to have to express that. So this is correct, this seems correct. Um, this looks correct here, but this part I'm going to have to evaluate. So. Does that equal sine pi over 16? Ooh, it does equal this. 32 over 63 sine pi, 32 over 63 sine pi. Oh wow, okay, well there you go. So it has the correct answer, the correct form. That is crazy, wow. And again, Google could not do it. It just numerically approximates. It is now integrating this monster here and it is Let's see. Oh, and I got it right. One third. That is correct. What is this? Oh god, integrating factor. It's using differential equations? Oh my god. Okay, so I think it was doing reverse quotient rule. And then now it's considering letting u equal 1 over x or t equal 1 over x. Wow, this is the first time I ever actually see an AI do a function hunting. In reverse. Oh wow. And it worked. Okay, so both both got it right. We have this integral here, and we see it is still trying to compute. 
Oh, wow, that is the longest. Oh, there we go. Oh, no. Oh, that's not good. Oh, what did it do? Integration by parts? Oh, no. Okay. It, it's missing a minus two. Ah, oh, here it is. Here's the minus two. Dang. Ooh, come on. Google. Three points ahead of Google now. Dang, it's crazy. This one is also a difficult integral because of the, the amount of squares it has. It can throw off the AI very easily. And, ooh. The integral can be numerically approximate. Oh, no. That is not correct. Oh, it got into a loophole. Did it? Yeah, it did inversion and it got into a loophole. Oh, that sucks. The exact answer should be negative pi over 4 over 2. As you can see, it matches. So that's the exact answer. Let's see if deep seed got... Oh, no, it does not. This integral is challenging and may not have an elementary. Yeah. So AIs, they are not capable of doing square square techniques. So, unfortunately, uh, they couldn't solve this integral. Alright, we have a tricky trig integral here. If you're not very careful with your bounds, you can get, uh, you can get into a trap. And, oh no, it, what happened, what did it, did it, do? it utilized, uh, trig integrals. I'm sorry, a trig identity. Oh, they rewrote it. Okay. No, they, they rewrote it. Yeah. Since the integral from, Okay, no, no, okay. No, they were careful. Very good. Okay. So, but yeah, this is the correct answer, surprisingly. So, it seems like they were also very careful with the balance as well. So, it's very nice. We have another sneaky little trig integral again. And let's see if it, if it does something. Just curious to how it would approach this. Oh, oh no. Oh no, it should just be one. Yeah, should just be one. I don't know where the one over root two came from. Uh, but no, this is not the way to go. Oh no, don't breathe. Oh, okay, nice, yes. Final answer is one. There we go, another, another point for deep seek. Wow, it's crazy. Yep, so the answer is indeed one. Alright, we have a tricky king's rule integral here, and wow, it got it right off the back. Very nice. Tangent 1 over 2. And I think this one also got it as well. It seems like it. Um, I don't know, but it still, it still wants to double check and test something. There you go. So tangent 1 over 2, tangent 1 over 2, they both got it right. That's a point for both of them. Alright, we have a famous integral here from the Putnam exam. And, ooh, oh, wow, impressive, less than 10 seconds. They got it right. That is correct. Oh, and Deep DeepSeek also got it right as well. That's also a point for both of them. Alright, we have a tricky integral, a tricky trig integral. Again, let's see how good it does with uh, manipulations like this. That is concerning. I don't know how I feel about that. And the answer is two. That is incorrect. Unfortunately. Oh no. Is Deep Seek going to get it right? Oh no. Wait, this seems too messy. Maybe this substitution isn't the way to go. Yeah. Oh, it got it. Oh my god. <laughs> that is crazy. That is the correct answer. It is 2 over uh, 3 to the power of 1 fourth. Yeah, it is, it is this. That is the correct. So, wow. A point for deep seek. Alright, we have another good uh, semi-integration by parts integral from Spivik. And let's see if it knows how to do semi-integration by parts. X minus secant. Yeah, that's correct. That is correct. Now we just wait for deep seek. That is nasty. Do not use differential equations. That is that is a no no. Oh dang, that's crazy. So Google solved it, but deep seek could not. No. 
Dang, that's unfortunate. Wow, okay. Maybe there's hope. Maybe there's hope. Google might catch up because the integrals do get harder from here. All right, we have another nice looking integral here. It is secretly a Gaussian integral. And I, yeah, it notices it. And we have the correct answer. And for deep seek, let's see, it got it. Yep, it looks like it got it too. It got the right answer. Should be square root of 2 pi e. Yeah. Nice. So they both got that one right. All right, we have a tricky a Dirichlet type of integral. Let's see if it can solve it. Laplace. It's using Laplace. Oh, dang. 3 pi over... Wow, that surprisingly worked. That is crazy. I was not expecting this from an AI. Um, geez. 15 seconds. 3 pi over 8 is correct. I don't know how it's going to approach this. I'm not confident in this approach. What? Oh, no. Is it going to have trouble solving this one as well? Oh, no. Perhaps... Oh, it could not. Dang, I think Google might catch up. Zero. That is incorrect. No, the correct answer is indeed 3 pi over 8. Dang. Holy hell. That is crazy. I think Google might catch up. Alright, this one's very difficult. I am curious to see if they could do British substitution. And they do not. Um... This one doesn't, at least. It is doing U substitute. Oh, integration by parts. Ooh. Oh, actually, no, that is correct. That is correct. I was like, wait, they missed a negative. But no, that's that's correct. That is correct. Okay. No. Google, Google got it. So that is correct. That's a point for Google. I hope it doesn't miscompute or anything. Approaches to infinity. Oh, my God. God, come on, Deep Seek. What happened? You were on a roll and it just. What? What happened to Deep Seek? Oh no. Again, I mean, these integrals are getting harder and harder. I did. It's designed to be that way for AI. But dang, I wasn't expecting Google to handle it. I was expecting both of them to like miss. Now Google is, is slowly catching up. All right, we have another integral. A very radical cool looking integral and it's using beta function okay ooh pi over 3 that is correct nice it's a point for Google come on deep seek there you go pi over 3 it's also another point for deep seek yeah I don't know it's I cannot believe it's using gamma like this but yeah the answer is Indeed, correct pi over 3. They both utilized beta function, which is crazy. You don't really have to. There's like a way to do it. It's actually just a simple u sub, actually. But uh, it's okay. All right, it's periodicity time. Let's see if they can do a periodicity integral. And wow, it's just straight into trig identities. I think it's just, it's just more comfortable for the AI just to bash it out. And 5 pi. Where the fuck? Oh, yeah, it had the right answer. However, you might consider Cauchy principal value of the integral. What? No, this is correct. What are you doing? No, it boxed in 5 pi. I'm sorry, but I cannot accept that. No. What? There are so many alternative. Jesus. And Deep Seek got it. It is indeed 14 pi. Yes. That is the correct answer. It is 14 pi. I don't think Google can catch up because uh, we only have two integrals left now. All right, now we're starting with piecewise integrals. Very difficult. Um, of course, they are doing casework and bashing it out, and they can easily miscalculate for AIs. As you can see, it easily miscalculated. That is incorrect. It is not ln of 3 over 2. Ooh, element of two. Oh, I got it. Nice. Wow. Okay, so we have the hardest, our hardest integral here in semifinals. And ooh, oh, it might get it. Oh, there you go. Pi square over six minus one. 
That is correct. So that's a point for Google. Let's see if DeepSeek got it. Should be accurate. Oh, I think it got it too. Yes, it did. Pi square over six minus. That is impressive. Wow. So a point for DeepSeek. Because I think it's it's gonna get it. Yeah. Pi square over six minus one. That is correct. So they both got it. So unfortunately, Google is uh, four points below, but it's still gonna be in the next round. It's not eliminated yet. For finals round, stay tuned for that because the integrals are no mercy. Let's see which AI could even handle such brutal integrals. So, alright, see you guys in the next video.